Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is a custom Tableau workshop. And this is a heavily requested workshop that I've been purposely delaying because I've been trying to figure out the most efficient way to demonstrate this because it's a rather complicated uh, procedure. Uh, unnecessarily complicated in my opinion, uh, but that's just the way it is. And it, it's the sunburst chart. And the sunburst chart, I've really taken it from this individual named Boro Barian. I apologize if I'm saying your name incorrectly. And he has this chart. He has this somewhat high level description on how it's created, but he doesn't really break down to the description around the chart. So I spent quite a bit of time reverse engineering the chart and really understanding how to put it together. Um, because right now he, he just recommends that you just refresh the data. Uh, but I think a lot of people are struggling because they want to know how do you actually create it. And they're really leveraging this concept of, of pills where the data dimensions and data fields are really based off of what's already in the in, in view right now. So if you try to replace it or recreate it, it's actually quite difficult to do. Uh, so I spent quite a bit of time reverse engineering it, but let's go ahead and get started. So I apologize if this video is going to take a while. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to Excel and I'm going to connect to this sunburst chart. I'm going to click it once and then instead of just opening it normally, assuming that you're using Tableau 9 Plus, I'm going to open it with Legacy Connection. That way I can actually drop a SQL connection to, to this. So here we're going to put a new SQL, custom SQL here, and I'll paste the link. I'll paste um. I'll paste the, the SQL code down in the description or I'll include a link depending on what YouTube will let me do. So I'll press OK. And now I have this data in here. And what uh, Boro does is that he creates these nine table calculations. They're very integrated. They actually take quite a while to, to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on those. And I'm going to fast forward this part. Okay, finished. And I'm going to include a link in the description where you can uh, see all the code that I copy and pasted. You could also download from his website in the workbook lay and take a look. And again, I give him full credit for this idea. I'm just really my goal is to explain how this is created. So the challenge that some people will have with uh, his workbook, which is brilliant, really, uh, really brilliant idea, obviously. Probably took him a while to create it uh, is that when you go and try to recreate it uh, either by duplicating and following the steps or by even as simple as like dropping pasting and even changing the table calculations it actually doesn't work because the pill is based off of a certain set of parameters and what he's done is he simplified it and actually removed them all after he's created at least that's what I'm hypothesizing so what you actually end up having to do is is basically when you let me open up his chart again what you'll see here is that if you just hover over it and this is because of there's so many embedded calculations here is that we don't we don't notice right away is that for example the four index results are computed along blah 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 what you have to do is create all the variables or like put all the variables in there and then set them to those ones in order for the pill to actually be set to those those levels. So by default, they're not going to be set. They're going to be set uh, for each of these categories, which is going to screw up your uh, when you actually go and paste it. So that's the one of the reasons why you can't paste it and actually get those results. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drop uh, those 
six um, ones, so index, slice level, edges, max level, size of slice, uh, max max sales, and drop them in and actually go and define them uh, at the right level using the table calculations. And then we can remove them afterwards just so you can see that effect as well. But that's something that's a little bit tricky that's not uh, totally intuitive. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on on those so actually i'm gonna drop remove level up here and i'm gonna start with uh go to polygon and then as well he creates a bin here and the bin size is one and the tricky part here as well is that you have to show all values. So here it shows all missing values by default for, for me, uh, but just make sure that's actually the case when you do that. Okay. And now what we're going to do here is I'm going to start with um, max level. So it's computed, uh, it's computed along a long bin and for each, each one. So you go to edit table calculation. And you go to bin here, you'll see that results are kind of, kind of computed along bin, a path bin for each level, which matches the description that's in uh, his chart. And we'll do the same thing for max sales. So max sales follows the same logic. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the shortcut, put path bin. And the next one I'm going to cover is uh, size of slice. So size of slice says here, that the results are computed based off product category, level, and bin. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to advanced. We're going to do product category, level, and bin. And you'll see that this description matches uh, the description that's in his workbook line. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep plugging along with that. So we're going to go slice level. And I find it, this is ultra sensitive. So Try not to get it wrong. If you do get it wrong, then sometimes the it actually won't go and update for for whatever reason. So then for each level. And then uh, so we have four of them. Next thing we need is edges. And edges is based off of this case edges is based off of everything but um, bin because that's going to be for each one and we're going to throw an index here and for whatever reason he made index a discrete variable so we're going to go ahead and do that and index is based off the bin perfect so let's drop x let's drop y and then we have to adjust these table calculations. Oh, no, sorry, I dropped, uh, I didn't drop X, I dropped, uh, there you go. And then we'll have to change here to the table, match his table calculations. Oh, okay, didn't like this slice level. It's probably because I, um, Okay, I'll have to redo this. So you can see it's ultra sensitive. If you get it wrong, and it, then it won't accept the, the value, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm redoing it because I messed up uh, because it is very sensitive. So here I'm going to go max level, that's based off of um, this, and max sales is based off the same thing, which is the path, and then I'm going to go to slice level, and slice level is based off of For each level, you know, size of slice. And size of slice is based off of everything. And 
and then as well edges is based off of everything but path and then we finally have index which is for some reason shown as a discrete and then it's based off of the bin path as well let's go ahead and drop that change it to match his table calculations And there you go. And then you have, now you have the sunburst chart. Obviously you can color them appropriately. So for example, pick a blue and do something like maybe go I'm really bad at picking these particular colors, but uh, I've already spent a lot of time on this video, so or a lot of time prepping for this video, so you get what I mean. So here you go blue. What it'll show you is how the sales are broken down between the level twos. Here, here and here, here and here. And then as well, what you can do is then just get rid of all this stuff and make it seem like nothing has ever happened. And that's how, to be honest, I think I probably would have left it, but obviously it's more aesthetic if you do remove it. Uh, but I, I probably would have left it in the, or explained to the users how to actually go and create this chart. So obviously this is the rough version of, of how to go and do it. You can go and create, create labels, create the sales, et cetera, et cetera. But that's essentially it. So hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I put a lot of time in this video. Uh, if you could give it a thumbs up as well, I uh, just appreciate uh, for all the effort that I put into into this and try to decode it because it wasn't really clear online actually how to go and do it. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to I'll feel free to answer them. If there's any other videos that you want me to to do in Tableau, ACL, SAS, or any other topics, just let me know. Always more than happy to help. Thank you, and look forward to speaking to you next time.